My name is Nikki, I'm the Obsessive Bookseller, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to review Taltosh by Stephen Brust. It's book four in the Vlad Taltosh series, and it's book one if you're going the chronological order, which I am doing because of a suggestion one of you made in the comments, which I really appreciate. I am currently reading this with a few friends at Fantasy Buddy Reads on Goodreads, and we are just going like a chapter or two every couple of days and then discussing it. I've discovered I really look forward to spending some time with Vlad and Loyosh and a couple of other cool characters on my commute every morning. The chapters are short, the books are short, so it doesn't take a lot of time to get to. The cool thing about this series, it's kind of a hodgepodge of genres for me. It takes place in a high fantasy world but it reads very much like an urban fantasy. The main character reminds me of kind of a Dresden profile. Um, he's a wizard for hire. And each individual novel contains a pretty well-rounded mystery. So right off the bat, you have something slightly different than anything I've ever read. And by the way, the Jarig companion, Loyosh, one of the best sidekicks in the business, like so good. With this one in specific, it's book four, like I said, but the author is one of those who says, oh, you can read them in any order, which I really hate. Like, come on, get organized. Years ago, I'd tried a couple of other books in the series by publication order. So I read Jerig and Tekla, and I liked those a lot more than Taltosh. The beginning of this one was awesome. I loved the flashback scenes. I loved a couple of the cool things the author was doing to really ground you in the world. There was a scene where he's just sitting in a bar talking about different types of wine with the bartender and what he was doing there was creating contrast between a couple of the, the different cultures and societies in this world. So it was a really subtle integration of like information without hitting you over the head with a dump. I thought that was really creative. And he also was weaving storylines like the past storyline and the present storyline pretty seamlessly at the beginning. It, it was almost like reading a literary nonfiction, the way that he kind of wove everything together, very artfully done. And right away, I was on board with his sidekick and his assistant, like best parts of the novel by far. My feelings for the series as a whole so far, what little I've read is very positive. My feelings for the second half of Taltosh left a little bit to be desired. I mentioned that the author used a lot of story weaving to integrate past and present storylines, and it worked at first, but at the end he got really crazy with it. So it was like every couple of pages he would switch back to the past perspective and then switch immediately to the first perspective. And mini rant, I really hate it that audiobooks don't have any kind of indication on when there's a page break. Like, give us a little boop. Like, that's all I would need. And then I would know that there's, that there's a page break because I spent a majority of the end half of this novel quite confused on what was going on, which timeline we were in. There were a couple of places where it was the text's fault. Like, he did not explain well enough how we got from point A to point B. And I know this because I'm not the only one in my group who got lost a few times. So we kept having to backtrack and reread. No, nope, they really are at this place now and we don't know how they got there and they didn't explain it. So there's definitely a problem with how this one is organized. It got to the point where I really wasn't on board with what the present day characters were doing because I didn't care. Like there was no build up to that. I was much more interested in what had happened before. And so it was a bit of a struggle to get through. And near the end, he flipped so many times that I didn't have any chance to really get on board with what was going on in either timeline by that point. So yeah, I did not enjoy the end half of this book nearly as much as the front. The front half, solid four star read. I really liked how we got to know the characters, a little bit more about the world, but the end half, it was just poor execution in my opinion, uh, maybe a one or two star. So. I think I'm going to land at a two and a half star. It was better than just okay, but I'm not sure I liked it as an overall. Like I've said, I've liked other books in the series a lot more, so I am still looking forward to seeing what happens next and spending more time with these characters. 
So now we get into the other books you might like if you like the Vlad Taltosh series. I have a couple of urban fantasy recs in here because it reads more like an urban fantasy and so to get the same similar feel it's definitely more comparable. But the first one is The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. This is like a science fiction book club comp compilation but the first one is called Stormfront. And if you like Vlad Taltosh for the main character you will probably like Harry Dresden, and there's a couple of really good sidekicks in this one as well. So yeah, a lot of crossover and similar story structure. One deals with wizards and dragons, and the other one deals with like vampires and werewolves. Take your pick. Next, The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is one of my favorite books all time anyway, but there are a few similarities in the tone of the writing. This one has a lot more rich and robust world building, but if you like the basic feel of Vlad Taltosh, I think you will like basically everything in this one. The setting and general world building reminded me a lot of Daniel Abraham's The Dagger and the Coin series. I don't think the cover really does the type of story that this is justice. It's very politically driven. It's got a lot of interesting characters, but a lot of the main conflicts take place in the city, between like banks and government and basically all the things it takes to run a society. And I feel like Vlad Taltosh kind of touches on that a little bit. They talk a lot about the monetary side of being a wizard for hire. I think this one would be a good pick also. And I want to suggest Hounded by Kevin Hearn. It's book one in the Iron Druid series. Hounded doesn't have quite as strong a main character, but I feel like all of the elements are surrounding him all of the villains and companions and sidekicks are very comparable to Vlad Taltosh, but it takes place in Arizona. So yeah, if you want that like rich magical world building thing, this won't have it, but it'll have every other element. And finally, the Great Coat series by Sebastian de Castell. If you like the sarcasm aspect of Vlad Taltosh, then you will probably like these characters. I will say the characters and the writing style are very overdone at the very first of the series, but he relaxes into it as it goes along and it becomes a really enjoyable, one of the most like profound things I've ever read. And you would never know that by the first few chapters. And actually, I'm just realizing I have book two here. Ah, this is book one, Traitor's Blade. So this would be comparable also. Thank you so much for joining me on this review and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.